We're here in Amsterdam at the Blockchain Expo and we're here with the Cryptomizers. What does uh, Cryptomizers do actually? Uh, Cryptomizers has two services. Uh, we give ICO support um, and we uh, give uh, consultancy uh, to fiat businesses uh, that wants to uh, explore the possibilities of blockchain technology. That's uh, the two things we do. All right. So you're based in, in Holland and actually how is the space in, in, in the Netherlands at, the, at this moment to be to start this business? Yeah, um, it is uh, what they say in the market uh, pre, um, pre-adopted phase. Mm-hmm. So we everything is arranged to get uh, the blockchain adopted. Uh, as we recently see uh, this week in Amsterdam they placed a Bitcoin uh, device uh, so uh, on Schiphol. Uh, so uh, the blockchain is really uh, going to enter this real world uh, at this moment. So we are part of the project. Um, no, I'm not part of that project, uh, but uh, we're following the market. So yeah, that's so for the adaption. It's good to have an ATM service at Schiphol. Uh, and um, so, can you tell something about the projects? Some of the interesting Dutch ICOs. Maybe you have an example where you work for. Um, we uh, do different ICOs, also, also international ICOs at the moment. Um, we are now at Momentum. We don't actually work for them, <laughs> but uh, w- we have contact with them. And uh, that's also something we find important because um, what we see in the market is there is a lot of lack of quality in, uh, ex- uh, for example, the marketing of doing ICOs. A lot of ICOs, they think, oh, um, we have a sol- some solution in blockchain, we want to raise some money and we started an ICO. Uh, but an ICO, we see that as a serious business. So um, it's not just a fundraising business, but you have to have a real solution in blockchain to, uh, yeah, to make it a r- good business. And also uh, what we do is, um, if the ICO phase is over, then uh, for the most uh, businesses, it just begins because then the product is uh, uh, f- funding and it's it's it, it's clear for the market, and yeah, then also a new part of marketing starts. So uh, that's what we also do. We don't stop at the point that the ICO is over. We look through that and we help businesses also get the next phase of marketing in that uh, area. Uh, what is actually uh, your competitive advantage? I mean, there even in Holland there are several ICO advisors, so maybe what do you do better actually? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Um, what we, uh, we expe- especially find important is that we want to be a mark of quality in the market. So also investors uh, yeah, know if they do business, then they do business at a good way and uh, of course, it depends on the product and blockchain, but we will do everything uh, but it's possible to make the project as successful as possible. Um, so uh, we find quality a very important thing and we also um, look at the market. So we don't have a copy-paste uh, yeah, uh, kind of way of working uh, because the market at the moment is uh, low. Um, so it's. Uh, a lot of uh, projects are struggling to raise some funds and they want some funds uh, but we also uh, so we um, have a scope on that uh, that we do it different and we change the marketing also with with the needs of the market and yeah think out of the box and I think uh, yeah, th- that's what we do different mostly we come to uh, projects that are already started the marketing but uh, yeah, they uh, spend a lot of marketing money. The project is, uh, I would say it, it's, it's like it's crap. And then well, we come in and we uh, completely align and reset the marketing process to make it uh, yeah, better and, and, and give it quality so that the goals are getting, uh, yeah, getting reached by that. So if you look at the process, you also do from white paper uh, until the public sale or post public sale, the whole process? Yeah, we do from A to Z, uh, the whole process. So we 
uh, is, if a business is in white paper stage, then we advise them on white paper. Uh, also on the tokeny part, um, we have also partnerships with uh, um, uh, uh, businesses that are giving quality. For example, tokeny. Um, they have what is tokeny? Um, tokeny. Um, wants to create um, quality in the market and they have uh, they made a uh, kind of protocol uh, on what based uh, things uh, uh, you have to make an ICO and a white paper um, and yeah they are very active in the world also to give quality in the market yes, yeah that's good and um, maybe one of the problems ICOs face is you mentioned is investments uh, what do you advise do you organize like meetings or what do you advise uh, these ICOs it's a bear market yeah uh, the most important thing is that um, your solution has to be a real solution and not just uh, something you use the blockchain for to raise money so you have you have, have to have a good story and um, after that, then uh, you have to yeah, network. For example, this this kind of events are really good uh, to connect. Um, as I said, we are in pre-adapted phase, so there are at this moment the world of crypto uh, connections is still a little, as we say. So if we go to an event, mostly uh, you meet someone you already meet at another event. Um, but it's, as we see today here in Amsterdam, it's growing. I heard that there are 13,000 visitors uh, today, so that's a lot. Um, I don't know if it's completely true, but just ha ha heard the number. So, uh, yeah, it, it is growing. Yeah. All right. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, and uh, people can go to cryptomizers.com. Yeah. And uh, you can see what these guys are doing, uh, based in the Netherlands, and there, uh, yeah, there, there are lots in the pipeline uh, to come this year. So uh, thank you very much. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you too. <laughs>